Okay, so there are rumors floating around everywhere about this so-called big Navi and the Navi 10. Okay, is it actually going to be true and be happening? Well, <clears throat> it may be happening. The only thing so far that's been confirmed is that there is going to be an RDNA 2.0. That's all it's been confirmed. Now, everything else is pretty much speculation. Now, it's supposed to have a 505 millimeter uh, GPU chip. This is supposed to be smaller than anything that NVIDIA even currently has in the market. Um, it's supposed to be basically two 5700s, the power of them, on one card. Supposed to be a seven nanometer process that's been refined. Refined to what? I don't know exactly. All I know is that they're going to be making a card that's going to be this big. Let's call it a big Navi, right? I mean, is this thing supposed to be really big, like a giant sized car? Because every time I hear the word big Navi, the first thing I pop into my head is I'm like, okay, is AMD going to make some giant card to compete? I mean, the 5700, we know where the power is at on that. And if they can actually get the power of two of those, onto one card that's actually got a CPU die that's smaller than anything that NVIDIA has in the market, then that would probably be a pretty competitive product. The only thing is, though, is that obviously, as soon as they do this, even if it does come absolutely true, you know, let me get the dog out of here, he's getting feisty. <laughs> as soon as they do that, NVIDIA is just going to come out with something else. Now, what's been going on is with the 5600, the 5600 got released, and it was actually supposed to compete with a 1660 card. Well, AMD decided, oh my god, these guys lowered the price, and they made their 2060 KO cards come out, and so they were like, okay, let's just uh, flash this BIOS and make this card go faster. So a lot of those cards actually didn't even work, just to let you guys know. Probably some people have tried this and got a card, they're like, oh my god. So, the 57s all seem to be fine, though. So, if Big Navi actually is a card that comes out that can offer, you know, a faster, you know, GPU than a 2080 Ti, that'll be great. But is it going to support other features? Like, I mean, rumor has it that it will. Will we see ray tracing actually on an uh, AMD GPU? I mean, it's not too far-fetched to think of. I mean, let's talk about PhysX. When PhysX came out, it was predominantly all from NVIDIA. Now, this is kind of weird though. The story is actually like this. So first there was ATI. ATI started really getting into this card by Aegea. And it was an add-in card and you basically put this add-in card and then all of a sudden you got all these cool PhysX things. I was on the gravy train back then doing reviews and I remember this well. It was actually a really fun time in the industry because everything was new. You got to face it. This Everything was new. So it's like, all right, cool. We're getting 3D. Now we've got this new product. But then all of a sudden, NVIDIA bought all the rights to that. ATI no longer had rights to that. And NVIDIA owned PhysX, the thing that ATI was actually using before. They didn't actually own the company. They were just working with them in conjunction, you know, and had this card. But then NVIDIA bought PhysX, and then all of a sudden, guess what? Ha, ho, ho, ho. AMD cards, ATI cards eventually all supported PhysX. It got supported to the time where you just, it was supported right off of your CPU in your system. You didn't have to worry about anything else, and it kind of just ran in the background. So for a little while, you know, it was proprietary to Team Green. But then after a while, you know, it's like, okay, it's been around. Like, so is the same thing going to happen with ray tracing? It probably will. Will it be on this big Navi card? Will the card actually come out? I mean, it's right now all speculation. Like I said, they've said RDNA 2.0. This is going to be coming out. This has been confirmed. According to PC Games, Big Navi may have recently passed the Korean Radio Research Agency certification since a new unknown GPU did appear in the RR database. It also seems that AMD is sticking with GDDR6 memory, an unspecified amount as of now, as well as a 512-bit memory interface. Now, the possible launch date for this will be either late March or early April. We'll all just have to hold on to our hats and hope the card comes out. But for now, that's what's going on. We'll have some links down below where you guys can check out some of those rumors yourself and just gather more information for your brains. We'll see you back here on the channel.